Hello, this is William Reed from the EntrepreneursCreativeEdge.com and in this video of the four-part series we're going to go through uh, the first five of the ten ox herding pictures. Again, this is from Zen Flesh Zen Bones uh, published by Tuttle and compiled by Paul Reps and Nyogen Senzaki. Now the first picture I will show you represents In Search of the Bull. You see it happens, as all the pictures do, inside of a cycle or a circle. I'll just read a part of the text, uh, actually the first poem. Uh, I won't read the commentary, but I will make my own commentary then. In the pasture of this world, I endlessly push aside the tall grasses in search of the bull. Following unnamed rivers, lost upon the interpenetrating paths of distant mountains, my strength failing and my vitality exhausted, I cannot find the bull. I hear only the locusts churring through the forest at night. One of the phrases which um, appeals to me particularly is, I endlessly push aside the tall grasses. And for me, um, this search of the bull is really about suffering. You're looking for something that you feel you need to fix your dilemma or get you out of a crisis. And for me, this was in high school, uh, before I discovered uh, Aikido, uh, and it started with my interest in Zen and Japanese culture, but really based on suffering and wanting to get out of um, a nervous, con nervous state or uh, somehow um, gain more confidence, and not knowing exactly what I was looking for, but again, this image of pushing through the tall grasses. And so for you, when you um, hear this story, um, ask yourself, what are you looking for? What am I looking for? What are the tall grasses that conceal it? Uh, this stage, incidentally, is not just at the beginning and then something you pass through and never return to. Because it's cyclical, you can return to it almost any time. So again, ask yourself, what are the tall grasses in your life that might be uh, concealing that which you're really looking for? Now, the second story is called Discovering the Footprints. And here is the picture. And you see the young man has uh, gotten a sense of what it is that he might be seeking and is now in pursuit of that. Let me read the poem. Along the riverbank under the trees I discover the footprints. Even under the fragrant grass I see his prints. Deep in remote mountains they are found. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose looking heavenward. So for me, my favorite phrase in here is, again, discover footprints, discover the footprints. And for me, this discovery was really about a decision, uh, sensing that I'd found my path and a decision to actually go to Japan and pursue my path through the study of Aikido. Again, this dates back to uh, 19, uh, say, 70-ish, when I discovered the book and became passionate about it, and then to 1972, when I first came to Japan and started my study of Aikido. So for you, whatever it is that is in your quest, uh, no doubt it leaves footprints. So what are the footprints, uh, what or who has left footprints that are relevant to your quest? And very important question to ask yourself is, are you hot on the trail? Now the third story in this sequence is called Perceiving the Bull. In this case, here is the picture, and you see the young man has caught sight not of the front of the animal but of its tail, just of the, uh, the he's going beyond the footprints, he's actually in pursuit but uh, still has not uh, actually captured it. And the poem reads, I hear the song of the nightingale. The sun is warm, the wind is mild, willows are green along the shore. Here no bull can hide. What artist can draw that massive head, those majestic horns? My favorite phrase in here is that um, what artist can draw that massive head, those, massive, those majestic horns? Uh, this really indicates something of the passion and the love for the, um, that which you have discovered. And so for me, this represented sort of an enthusiasm bordering on 
boarding on Cult Mania, where I was tra training every morning, um, get up at 4.30 in the morning, douse myself with cold water, uh, take the first train in uh, down to the dojo and do a two-hour practice. I'm just totally passionate about Aikido, trying to tell everybody about it, and, um, and just training all the time, basically. And then, so for you, whatever it is uh, that you have chosen in your path, what is it that excites you in your life? And what are you passionate about? This is, the, I think, the message of here, perceiving leading to passion, which is the third story in the phase.